Hello friends. Today we will discuss the origin of winds or what causes winds. Basically there are two reasons. Non-uniform heating of earth's surface by the sun and Coriolis effect. Let us discuss these two reasons one by one. Now first reason is non-uniform heating of earth's surface by the sun. So this is our earth and there is a imaginary circle which divides this earth into two equal halves. The upper portion is known as northern hemisphere and the lower portion is known as southern hemisphere and this imaginary circle is known as equator and there is another portion here that is known as north pole and there is another if there is north pole then there must be a south pole and here is the south pole so what is basically north pole it lies 90 degree on the north of the equator and south pole lies 90 degree on the south of the equator so we have equator which cuts our earth into two parts northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere and we have two poles north pole and south pole but why we have discussed the equator and the poles so our earth is getting heat from the sun and near equator there is more heat due to sun so air will move upwards uh, we we must have seen that whenever we heat the steam whenever we heat the water the steam rises upwards okay the hot the steam rises upwards so now near equator there is more heat so air will move upwards the gases expands and the air will move upwards so it will create a low pressure area on the earth from cooler area that is high pressure area on the earth the air will move and it will move towards the low pressure area so air will flow from high to low pressure area due to difference in temperature at different points locations on the earth so why does the wind flow the first reason is the movement of air from high to low pressure area due to difference in temperature at different points and locations on the earth and the second reason is Coriolis effect uh, I will give a separate lecture on the Coriolis effect but what is the effect on the flow of wind of Coriolis effect that I will share with you today so our earth is also spinning like this now what is the direction of the spinning the direction of the spinning is from west to east the direction of the spinning is from west to east in this direction so basically Coriolis effect tells us that in the northern hemisphere in the northern hemisphere all the heavy objects like air clouds they will be directed towards the right hand side direction and in the southern hemisphere the air will be directed towards the left hand side the air will be directed towards the left hand side here the direction is clockwise and here the direction is anti-clockwise so that's why the air is also moving if you want to practice this thing you can sit on a merry-go-round you and your friend will sit on the opposite direction and if the merry-go-round is moving very fast for example uh, towards anti-clockwise direction and if you have a ball and if you will throw a ball straightward it will not go straightward similarly if your friend will throw a ball straightward towards your direction it will not 
go straight word that is your assignment that you can do at your home not at your home at gardens okay or you can um, search an experiment where you can feel this Coriolis effect and you can share with us so basically there are two reasons due to which the wind blows that is non-uniform heating of earth's surface by the sun and Coriolis effect thank you thanks a lot